I am so excited I get to see my sister Alyssa. She moved to the city and I haven't seen her in a week. Alyssa, is that you? Yeah, no. I don't know you, sir. I'm Ethan, your brother. I'm not Alyssa and I don't have a brother. Bye. That is definitely her. Alyssa, what is this? Whoa, are you kidding me? Where did you get all this stuff? People just give me things. It's what I deserve, honestly. I'm a billionaire now. Quit pretending, Alyssa. There's no way you're just suddenly rich. We grew up in a poor family. We don't have this kind of money. I don't have time for this. I have a party to go to at the art gallery tonight. James, get rid of this poor loser. On it, your highness. Your highness? Hey, wait. Ah! Alyssa, stop this! <laughs> Bye, Ethan. All right, Alyssa said she'd be here. I need to know what's going on with her. Sydney, over here! Please, Sydney Heim! Sydney Heim? What the heck? Oh, no, you don't. No poor people allowed. This party is invite only. But that's my sister, Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa, please! Ugh, just let him in, okay? That's my assistant, and he's so annoying. Listen, loser, just follow my lead, okay? And don't ruin this for me. Sydney, my love! Glad you made it! Who is this? Oh, this is my new assistant, Hans. Hans, this is my boyfriend, Julian. He's a billionaire, too. <laughs> well, nice to meet you or whatever, dude. Now come with me. I have someone you must meet. Sydney, this is the world-famous artist, Frankie Acrylics. Frankie, this is my girlfriend, Eris Sydney Heim. Sydney Heim? Never heard of you. Well then, let me introduce myself. I'm Sydney Heim, billionaire heiress and European princess. Oh, well then, it's an honor to have you, your majesty. Yes, it is. I love this painting. How much is it? This is my finest work yet. It's three million dollars. <laughs> Dear, will you buy this for me? You know I'll pay you back. Of course, my love. Yay! I love it. What the heck is she even doing? Oh my gosh, that party was great. Did you love it? No, not really. Well, I did. I'm so exhausted. Talking to people all night is just so tiring. You mean lying to people all night? Yeah, that must be tiring. What are you talking about? Sydney Heim, billionaire heiress and princess? What was that about, Alyssa? Oh yeah, I just reinvented myself, that's all. Yeah, reinvented yourself into a scam artist. What are you gonna do when people find out? What will mom and dad say? They won't find out. That's why you're here. You're going to help me make people think this is all real. An assistant is just what I need. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Lying to people is bad. It's not lying, it's more like pretending, like we did when we were kids. I'm not going to help you do this, Alyssa. Yes, you are, Hans, whether you like it or not. Now I'm going to bed. Get out! Ethan, you're back early. I thought you were staying with your sister all weekend. She's not my sister anymore. She's gotten herself into something bad. She's pretending to be a billionaire. Pretending? I, I don't believe this. I've seen it with my own eyes. She's living in some luxury apartment, spending money like there's no tomorrow. She's even more spoiled than usual. Well, maybe she's just networking, trying to find her way. We should be supportive. I am trying to support her by stopping her from making a huge mistake. I need you to believe me. Sorry, kid. It just doesn't make any sense. Then I'm going to get proof for you and show you what Alyssa's doing. What do you think of this one? You know, I want the one with the bigger diamond. Oh, of course, babe. Anything you want. I'll go buy that necklace. Hans, what are you doing here? Can we talk alone, please? Yeah, fine. So what is it? Are you here to lecture me again? No, I want to help you. You're my sister. And despite everything you're doing, I love you. And I can see you're way in over your head. You're not being annoying for the first time in your life? Look, do you want me to be your assistant or not? I still think you're up to something. <sighs> Fine, whatever. You can be my assistant. Great. Thanks, Alyssa. I just want to help you, that's all, I promise. And just don't call me Hans anymore. Whatever, just don't mess this up. This is absolutely unacceptable! Do they know who I am? I was promised the best table, not this! Just calm down. Maybe this is the best table they have. What are you doing with your phone? Just sending one of your thousand emails, that's all. Miss Heim, I assure you, this is one of our finest tables. We're extremely sorry if it has not met your expectations. 
Are you kidding me? I'm in the corner. Basically, no one can see me, and I hate it. Oh, are you open to changing tables? I'm open to leaving. Ethan, let's go. Miss Heim, please accept our sincerest apologies. We value your satisfaction above all else. Everyone will hear about this. Your service is trash. Allow us to offer you this meal on the house. Fine. I suppose I can lower my standards to eat here for one night. And that, little brother, is how it's done. And now we get what we want for free. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. I saw everything. Julian, darling, with your connections and my vision, we can create a brand so incredible. Sydney, I love you, but what makes your brand special? Give me that. It's because it's authentic, Julian. Look at these designs. It's a reflection of the modern woman. Uh, it looks incredible. I love it. But it's a big investment. I, I need to know this is going to work. Trust me, Julian. I've never been more sure of anything, except for the fact that you're my favorite rich boyfriend ever. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll support your launch. How much do you need? Maybe 25 million? Well, consider it done. Thanks, babe. Now let's go, Ethan. We have work to do. See, it's all about saying what people want to hear. Then they'll give you whatever you ask for. Yeah, okay. And then what happens when he finds out the truth, Alyssa? What then? Who cares? By then, I'll have what I need. I'll be so rich. And if you're smart, you'll keep your mouth shut and play along. All right, just watch this. See, she isn't just being spoiled. She's manipulating people. Do you really think this is the Alyssa we know? She's always had a flair for the dramatic. I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. It's not just drama, Mom. She's scamming people out of money. This is serious. This isn't like Alyssa. She's ambitious, yes, but not dishonest. But you're not seeing the full picture. Alyssa's in deep. And if she doesn't stop, she's going to get caught. And it won't be just her name that's dragged through the mud. It's going to be all of ours, too. I just miss her so much. I miss my daughter. She isn't answering her calls and her texts anymore. Not since she left. Exactly. It's because she doesn't want her real life to come back to haunt her and ruin her new one. Tell her we want to see her, just to talk. We need to understand why she's doing this. Maybe we can help her find another way. I'll try, but I'm telling you, the Alyssa we knew, I'm not sure she exists anymore. Ugh, this is all wrong. The cut, the fabric, it's trash. We need to start over. Yeah, Sydney, we already changed these designs like multiple times. The show's in a week. There's no time to redo any of this. Then you're not trying hard enough. This is my brand on the line. I need perfection, not excuses. Yeah, well, maybe your brand needs a reality check, Miss Heim. You know what? I can't work like this. Find someone else to make your impossible dreams come true. I quit. Ugh. Whoa, you seem more mad than usual. All of the biggest designers pulled out of the show. They don't believe in the brand anymore. What am I going to do? Maybe this is just a sign you should stop. Rethink this whole thing before it's too late. No, I can't stop now. We'll throw a big pre-launch party. It will be so expensive and incredible that no one will care about the designers. Well, okay, fine. But you should invite mom and dad to the party. They miss you. They're really worried about you too. No, they'll just see how much I've messed up. They'll ruin everything. Look, I'm gonna invite them anyway. They deserve to see you. Maybe having family there will remind you of who you really are. Fine, do what you want but this party is happening with or without them, and it's going to be perfect, so make it happen. Well, Alyssa got the party she wanted. Super expensive and nothing but celebrities. Uh, I hope this works. Listen here, Bob, I'm not going anywhere without seeing my daughter. No invitation, no entry, get lost. Hey, 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 what's going on here? These paws are trying to ruin Miss Hines' party. Ethan, why are they causing a scene? They came to see you, can't you just let them in? I don't think so. I don't know them, and their outfits are trash. Security, get them out of here. Wait, no! Ugh, how could you do that? That's mom and dad, Alyssa. They came all the way here just to support you. I told you, Ethan, Alyssa is gone. I'm Sydney now, and Sydney doesn't have a family that shows up uninvited and dressed like that. This isn't you. No party, no brand, no amount of fame is worth losing your whole family over. 
<laughs> You're wrong, Ethan. This is exactly who I am. Now, you should leave before I have security kick you out, too. I'm really sorry Alyssa treated you like that, guys. It's not fair. Why, Ethan? Why would she act like that towards us? Her own family? Because she's ashamed of us, of where we came from and who we are. I know we don't have any money or fancy things like that, but is that all she cares about? Yeah, I think so. She's created this whole persona, Sydney, who's everything she thinks she wants to be. And we don't fit into that world. We gave you kids the best life we could. We might not have much, but we gave you love and a home. I know, Dad, and I appreciate everything you've done. Hopefully, things will just get better for us soon. <sighs> I think we're just tired. Let's just talk about this in the morning. We love you, son. Good night. Yeah, good night. Love you too. Oh, great. What do you want, Alyssa? You left the party, loser. And I needed to tell you that I need you to work the brand launch tomorrow. Yeah, no. No? You can't tell me no. Yes, I can. And I don't care. Not after how you treated mom and dad. I'm done with this. But you have to. It's my fashion show. You're my brother. You're supposed to support me. So wait, hold on. You disrespect mom and dad, your own family, and you expect me to support you? Why should I help you? Whatever, Ethan. If you really cared about me, you'd be there. I do care. I... Ugh. Well, Alyssa's show went perfectly. I'm sure she's just beyond thrilled with herself. Tonight was a huge success, babe. Your brand is a hit. I know that. And look at the crowd. Rich, famous celebrities everywhere. Well, I was thinking we should make this even bigger. I got some great ideas to make your brand huge. Does this mean more money? Uh, of course. <laughs> Yay, I love it. Uh, Miss Heim, we need to talk about the after party. Go away, Ethan. You're interrupting my moment with my boyfriend. It's okay, babe. I need to talk to the mayor. You have one minute, Ethan. What do you want? Wow, so I don't even get a thank you for helping you tonight? Ugh, no. Is that all you wanted? I'm busy. No, I wanted to tell you that you need to go see mom and dad. They miss you, Alyssa, and you owe them an apology from the other night. Fine, I'll go visit mom and dad just to shut you up. But this doesn't change anything. Now go away. I have to hang out with my new famous friends. Wow, I actually didn't think you were gonna show up. Shut up, I have a hair appointment in an hour. Let's get this over with. Honey, look, it's her. Hey there, kiddo. Good to see you. Alyssa, darling, we've missed you so much. Okay, whatever. We got you a little something special. A little congratulations on your success. Oh, I love gifts. Um, what's this? I made you a scarf. And I picked out the colors. You seriously think this thing is appropriate for me? I hate it, and I hate this place. It's all so beneath me now. Enough, Alyssa. Why are you doing this? Because I've outgrown you, all of you. I'm better off without this poor, sad family. I'm so sorry, guys. I thought maybe she'd remember who she was, but I was wrong. It's not your fault, Ethan. We did our best. She's made her choice. We still have you, son. We'll get through this, like we always do. Yeah, I know. Thanks for the lunch, son. This was nice. Well, after last night, I knew you and mom were upset and I wanted to cheer you up. I blame myself for this. It's not your fault, dad. No, it is. I should have tried harder. I should have gotten a better job so I could raise you and your sister in a nicer community. What? That doesn't matter, dad. You worked as hard as you could to make sure Alyssa and I were happy. And we were. I mean, I turned out fine. Yes, but I always wanted us to live somewhere nice. Well, maybe we can. I think I can help. Help? Ethan, you can't change the past, buddy. No, I, I know that, but I can change the present. I can turn our part of town around, maybe clean everything and make it look nice. So we can show Alyssa and everyone else this is a good place to live. I don't know. That's one tough task, son. I can handle it. I know I can do this. Oh man, this place really is dirty. Maybe dad's right. Is this too much? Yo, what's up? Daniel? <laughs> hey, dude, how are you, man? Oh, better than you, I think. What the heck are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just cleaning up our part of town. Look, you and I both have lived here our whole lives. This place is rough, but it has a lot of potential and it could be something beautiful. Well, do you mind if I give you a hand? There's no way you could do this all yourself. Oh yeah, for sure. I can definitely use all the help I can get. 
I'll be there for you, man. Like you were when I got braces in high school. Oh, yeah. You did kind of look like a nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. So what do you need me to do? Sydney, this is Sterling Harkness, best businessman in the city. Next to me, of course. Yes, pleasure to meet you, Miss Heim. I saw the launch of your brand. Everyone's talking about it. Of course they are. It's the best lifestyle brand out there. <laughs> I agree. That's why I want to partner with you on your next business idea. Really? I only want the best, so if your idea is trash, I won't do it. Sydney, dear, just listen to what he has to say. I think you'll love it. Fine, but let's make it quick. I'm getting my nails done in 20. Well, since everyone is trying to get their hands on your merchandise, I think you should open up a brand new store right here in this city. I like the sound of that. Will it be an exclusive store only for the rich and famous? Oh, well, of course. Good, just how I like it. How much money are you going to give me for this? I'm willing to give you $100 million to get this project started. <laughs> I'm worth way more than $100 million. How about $200 million? Oh, you're a savage businesswoman, Miss Heim, and I like it. You got yourself a deal. Now we just need to find a place in the city to build your store. Oh, don't worry about that. I know the perfect place for it. You want to build your store here? Of course I do. This part of town could use some class. Well, I agree. Man, cleaning up this neighborhood has been tough. I think I'm making a good progress with it. Wait, hold on. Is that Alyssa? Oh, boy. Oh, Sydney. I didn't expect to see you back here. I thought this place was beneath you. Uh, do you know this poor person, Miss Hom? Sadly, yes. This is my ex-assistant. He must be a trash person now. What do you think you're doing here? I just found the perfect spot for my new store. Right here, of course. This building's gonna be torn down and replaced with Miss Hom's new lifestyle brand store. What? You can't do that. We live here. This is your final notice to move out. You have five days. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Hom. I need to go get the crew ready. What the heck? So you're really gonna tear down our home? You're gonna make your own family homeless, all just to build some stupid store? Yeah, that's right. You might not care about our family, but I still do. And I will do anything to stop you. If I were you, I would tell mom and dad to start packing. Tear our home down? No, th there has to be some mistake. No, dad. She's working with some sleazy businessman now. This is all the proof you need. This building will be torn down in five days. All residents must leave the property immediately. Order of Heim Enterprises? See, I told you. How could she do this to us and to the other families that live here? I honestly don't think she cares anymore. The Sydney Heim charade has gone on long enough. She has to stop this. Yeah, she does. And you know what? You just gave me an idea. I think it's time I put an end to Sydney Heim. Today is the day, Sterling. Let's tear this terrible place down. Well, uh, Miss Hom, seems as though we have an issue. An issue? I thought you said we were good to go. Oh, we are, but, uh, take a look over there. What the heck does he think he's doing? Thank you so much for meeting me here, Chip. Of course, you said you had an exclusive story for me, so what is it? Ethan, what is this? Oh, good. I'm glad you're here, sis. Uh, sis? Ethan, don't you dare. Well, Chip, I wanted to give you this exclusive story. Sydney Heim is a fake. This is really my sister, Alyssa. Sydney Heim a fake? What on earth are you talking about? This poor loser is just making things up. No, that's what you've been doing, Alyssa. And I'm finally telling the truth. She's been faking everything. She's not a European princess or a billionaire heiress. She's just a normal girl named Alyssa from this neighborhood right here. I had a feeling something was off about you. This project's on hold until I can check this story out. Okay, I gotta get this story on the air before Diane does. <laughs> this is gonna be huge. I think it's finally over, Alyssa. Time for you to come clean. That's where you're wrong, idiot. It's not over yet, and you're going to regret this. So, uh, what did you find? Well, I had my people look into it, but they can't find anything on Sydney. Anything? There has to be something, Sterling. There's nothing. It's almost like she doesn't exist. Well, that's all on purpose. 
darling, please tell me this is all some kind of mistake. It is a mistake, I promise you. Well then, Miss Hom, why are there no records on you at all? I'm a billionaire princess. My family wanted to keep my identity safe and keep me out of the spotlight until I was ready. Everything that poor loser said was a lie. Well, that does make sense. I believe you, dear. Well, I don't quite believe you yet. There's something going on here. I just know it. There is something going on here. Poor people are trying to stop me from building my store, which you promised you would build for me. Yes, well, I don't build stores for liars, Sydney, if that's your real name. Well, I want that store, and I want it now. Darling, maybe we can- No, shut up! I order you to start tearing down that building, Sterling. If I do that, it'll be all over the news. My reputation might be ruined. I'm not gonna tear down that poor person's house. Then tear down the one next to it. I don't care. Just get me that store or I will ruin you. Wow, dude, this is starting to look great. Yeah, thanks to both of us. I mean, we both did this and it's only the beginning. I think I'm gonna start asking construction companies to help renovate the buildings. I mean, this place needs a big overhaul. Uh, what the heck was that? It sounded like it came from, oh no, our homes. Do it again. I want that heinous building torn to the ground. Yeah, sure thing, boss. Oh no, stop, that's where I live. Hey, you right there, stop. Oh, right, at least again. You need to stop this right now. Not a chance, pores. This place is coming down to die. You're destroying people's homes, their lives. You can't do this. I really don't care, poor man. Miss Heim's story is gonna make me a fortune and no one gets in the way of me making my money. Now, go run along and go pick your food out of the trash, you homeless idiots. Dude, my home, I'm homeless now. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Don't worry, dude, I'm here to help you. Thanks for letting me stay with you guys, Mr. Roberts. Of course, Daniel. You've had a tough day. Have some dinner and just try to relax. Everything I have, my home, it's gone now. Yeah, thanks to my spoiled sister. I always thought she was kind of nice. I mean, a little spoiled, but this? This is just evil. I know, but don't worry. I'll find a way to make this right. Melissa can't keep up the scam for much longer. Oh, uh, Ethan, you should come see this. Look! Welcome back, everybody! Today, I have a special guest, Sydney Heim! Hi, everyone! This is Sydney Heim, duh! Sydney, you told me exclusively that you have some hot gossip to share. Yes, Diane. I just wanted to say all the rumors of my identity being a fake, they are all nothing but lies. That loser, Ethan, was just a former employee who I fired. He's seeking revenge against me, jealous that I'm rich and he's not. What? I'm not jealous. You're just a scam artist. Well, leave it to Chip Dazzle to report on a false story. You'll always get the truth from me, Diane. So with all that cleared up, I just wanted to say my lifestyle brand store will be opening soon. And I hope everyone that can afford it will come by the grand opening. See you all there. Bye. I can't stand seeing your sister manipulating people like this. Well, it looks like people are going to believe her now. What should we do? I need to get some more evidence. I got to show people the truth. Don't worry. This isn't over yet. All right, I'm just gonna record this whole thing and catch her in her own lies. This is gonna work. And here she comes. Sorry, poor. I don't have any change for you. Oh my gosh, cut it out, Alyssa. What are you doing here? What do you want? I'm here to talk to my sister. I know you like pretending to be a billionaire, Alyssa, but can't you see how this is affecting your family or where you came from? Yeah, I see it, and I don't care about my dumb, poor family anymore. Tell mom and dad it's over. I'm better than all of you now. Alyssa Roberts is gone, and Sydney Heim is here to stay. Now get lost, or I'll call the cops. Yeah, I think I got you now, Sydney. Good morning, Roblox! I'm your hostess with the mostest, Diane. Now, we all loved Sydney Himes' interview the other day, didn't we? Yeah. So, welcome my next special guest, the poor guy! Clap for him, everyone! Yay! 
Oh, thanks, Diane. My name's Ethan, by the oh, way. Oh, no, 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 no. No sitting for you. These seats are cashmere. Oh, uh, okay. Now, you know everyone reveals the truth on The Diane Show. So, what's your truth, poor guy Ethan? Well, I'm here to tell everyone that Sydney Heim is the fake I said she was. Do you hate that she's rich and you're poor? No, she's my sister, and I hate that she's scamming everyone, even you. Listen to this. And I don't care about my dumb, poor family. My new life is better, and I want my old life gone for good. Oh. My. Gosh. She's a scammer. I figured it was time my sister comes clean. Wow. Loves the drama, but also hates it. Sydney Heim, you came on my show and lied to me. Diane? Oh, I can't. You are officially canceled. James, go to commercial. I am distraught. Uh, no, no, no. I can't believe this. Everything you told me was a lie. I feel like an idiot. Do you even love me? Well, I love your money and when you buy me things. Oh, this is it. I can't do this. Oh my gosh, stop being so dramatic. No, we're done, Sydney. Or should I say, Alyssa? Julian, wait. Uh, Ethan, you're going to pay for this. Well, it took a lot of hard work and some help from the people of the city, but what do you guys think? I can't believe our neighborhood looks like this now. It's so pretty, honey. How did you pull this off? Well, people learned about how Alyssa was trying to tear this place down, and they heard her talk so much trash about it that a lot of people wanted to help build it back up. Glad to know there's still some good people out there. Oh, and come check this out. This is our new home. Wow, never thought we would live in a place like this. I hate to say it, but this just doesn't feel right. Not having your sister here with us. She would have loved this place. I know, it's like our family isn't complete without her. Ethan, I think it's time you find your sister and, and bring her home with us. <sighs> Fine, I'll go get Alyssa and I'll bring her home. Oh great, what's this all about? I want that woman arrested and thrown in jail forever. You better find her. Yeah, that's my job, losers, okay? And I'm really good at it. Uh, what's going on? Julian? Oh, this is Ethan. He's her brother. Your stupid sister's on the run. And now she's a wanted criminal. Where is she, huh? Do you know where she is? No, I haven't seen her. I... Ow! What the heck, dude? Where is she? Tell me now! I told you I don't know! I haven't seen Alyssa. I was coming to find her and bring her back home. Great. Then she's on the run. If you see her, you have to call the police. Understand? We want her under arrest. And she's going to court for how much money she stole from me. And me? Whatever, this is so dumb. I'm out of here. Bye! So, you know your sister better than anyone. I thought I did. I really don't know anymore. If your sister were to ever get in trouble, where would she go? You know what? I think I might know where. Whenever Alyssa used to get in trouble when we were kids, she'd just go run to mom and dad. She's gotta be here. Uh-huh, just what I thought. You know, they stopped hiding money in their nightstands years ago, Alyssa. You? How did you know I was here? Eh, just a feeling. Trying to steal mom and dad's money again? I don't have time for you, Ethan. Oh, I think you do. You know the cops are looking for you, right? Yeah, I'm not stupid. My life is just a mess right now and I blame you for it. You can blame me all you want, but you know it's your fault. My life was going to be perfect. Now it's over. Your life was already perfect here with us, the family that loves you. They asked me to come find you and bring you home. We want you to just come clean. No, I'd rather go to prison than spend my life here with poor people. I hate it. Well, then you're going to jail, you scammer. What? No! Yeah, you're under arrest. <laughs> I caught you, yay. Wait, how did you... I was following you the whole time, idiot. Come on, lady, we're gonna take you to jail. No! Why are you here? Let me guess. It's time for your famous I told you so line, isn't it? Well, I could say that, but no. I just wanted to come see you. You're still my sister, and I love you. Wow. Thanks, Ethan. I'm... I'm really sorry. I know you are. If you like that Vigimans, I think you'll like this one right here, y'all. No, you're gonna love this one, trust me. Don't listen to Thinkin' Barry, he wild. Watch this.